come from. He speak well, even the Tigrinian language that's spoken in part in Ethiopia and Eritrea. But, and then they became together. They had a supper together. But nothing changed in Eritrea. And then more than what made me pure, said, I am behind you. I told him, you, Mr. President, you can't say that. You took the, you must say to the Eritrean people, I gave you. But he can't speak about the country as a whole. If you make any agreement without the consent of the Eritrean people, invalid. Our people live from the world created without anything, without speaking foreign language. The country was protected. The country protected. So we can't say, oh, he's this illiterate. No. I am illiterate if I don't speak the language of the person, because I speak other language, but I don't speak his language. I understand. There are, when the, the, you say that the border, you want to have good relations between Ethiopia and Eritrea, but that the border must still be there. Yeah, because yes. you look, I understand. Yeah, right. But now, one of the problems is that when the border is drawn, when we actually find the border, some villages which were in Ethiopia will be in Eritrea. Some border, some villages which were in Eritrea will be in Ethiopia. Do you think this will cause a problem? Look, you have a neighbor here and there. Both of you have a war. This inside the world is you. Outside the world is the other one. If you want to go to your neighbor, you have to knock the door. So what I, I don't have enmity. All my study, I was studied with the Ethiopian passport, not with the Eritrean. The Eritrean, no. But you see, I love, I was praying for Ethiopia, but must have a door between Canada and the United States. In the old days, they used just simply with the ID card, now with the passport. But they are, this belongs to Canada. Another thing I will tell you. The Canadian weatherman said, cold weather is coming from the United States. The American weatherman said, cold weather is coming from Canada. I laughed by myself, you know why? The, the Canadian means from Alaska. The American means that is from the neighbor of Washington, Washington Seattle, and another thing. They have everything. And then on the sea, what you, they call international water, they have, we have two, uh, 12 miles hours. But the others belong to international. But the international people, if they want to come to our territory, they have to ask our permission. So a border must have. I, I understand this, but for example, let's say that you are a, a, you're living in a village. All your life, your father, before that, you always report to Asmara. Your, your, your police line, yeah. everything, your administration comes from Asmara. Right? Now you are suddenly going to be in Ethiopia. It's possible. Maybe one, one village will be transferred to the other country. Do you not think that people will say, my father, my grandfather, his father, they all looked to Asmara. Now I am in Ethiopia, I will be in a, a new country. Will this not be difficult But in the old day, no one prevented us to come to Asmara. Back in, during the British administration, during the Italian administration, ask some of those who were administrators Eritrea, the youth. But now we see, the one who can't move easily from the governor to governor. I'm glad that 10 years we were under the British, I mean the country, but not me. 
because I lived, I left Eritrea in 1950 on this month's area. So <clears throat> we had, if some colonial do that, we can just blink our eyes. But those people, they are Eritrean. We were expecting to live good life, but no. So the British government has a power, whether at human rights or Red Cross, Cross or the finger of Great Britain, it has a value for us. One finger, not in London. United Nations. What they call this, not interfere to international affairs. No. The people in Eritrea are tired. They can't speak. They came for 27 years without, 28 years, without university academy. They will tell that they have for a military trainer or, but that is not enough. Ethi Ethiopia has 50 universities, one five. Eritrea, we had one that is... It's gone. May I ask you, what is your understanding? How do you feel about the Eritreans who are outside of Eritrea? What is the condition of, and how, how are your people in the rest of the world now? I'm America. very sad. But how are they? Are, are they having... A, I will tell you, I'm doing? very sad. When they are, those who are out come together, they can be power. But the government interferes, they send through the secretary embassy, oh, we are going to confiscate what you have there. It is not bread, they can eat it. Let them confiscate. When we go back, will return it. What I read, they had more than 700,000. One day I was reading, in different countries. They are not come together. Why not? I am, look, I'm not crying for me. May God bless America, they make me American to vote. Unfortunately, this day, me tell my country. But the people, they don't look it. In our culture, we said, the dog look the meat under his butt, not the stick over his head. So I'm very sad with the Eritrea. I'm telling you that. Unless you come together, and then we go to the Great Britain Embassy uh, said, you are the big nation. You are responsible for us. American, when they came in 1941, they just had marine, that it is. But the British, they stay there. They know us. The Italian, they rule us about 50 years. They have moral obligation. Well, I know what they did last time when Eritrea refused to, refused to accept the corpse of those who died. The Italian uh, parliament, they gave them citizens. That I appreciate, I couldn't forget that. So the whole world, the Security Council, and the United, they must make some for a dictatorship, not Everything is internal affair. You want them to take some initiative. You yeah. want them to do something. Well, few human beings, they are suffering. So the security finger, remember finger, five fingers, it has a value. All for us. I have been following BBC from 1956. Uh, especially at that time, the Arabic transmission. Now I can't follow because it's more direct to the focus to the Middle East. So you, I'm appealing to you to say to those who can hear you. One day, United Nations, they will make some, and the African Union, they can make 
one day's article. If someone is so dictated, they must move him. The African, those who were leader during the 14, 15 hundred, I mean thousand, their grand grandchildren, they came here as refugees. They went to stay to any country. There's, there's now a war in, uh, in Yemen uh, with the, uh, and there are some... Saudi Arabia. Yes, but there are some Saudi planes which land in Eritrea and the United Arab Emirates, they have a base in Eritrea. What do you think about that? First of all, I'm very sad. My heart is broken for the war two nations together, they are our neighbor. If something happened to Yemen or Saudi Arabia, they have to come to us. I'm very sad. That it is, I can't talk to that. I want this to appeal to the Arab nation, League, to say stop. Yes, it is true. Doctrina, they are different. The Yemenite is Shi'at Zayidi, the Saudi, they are Sunni, but all of them, they have one Qibla. Both of them, they have one Quran. They must think about that. Saudi Arabia is bigger than territory, they are fighting Yemen also. I'm, this morning, now I, I was watching on the TV, I'm sad. But are you worried that uh, Eritrea is now involved in the war? Because the, depend, the, planes, the planes fly de, from your territory? Depend the, the president. Both of us, our neighbor. Both of us, our neighbor. So I can uh, prefer one or the other. Both of us, you see, I'm, when I look, I look both of them with two eyes. Yemen on the right side, Saudi Arabia on the left. But I'm very sad. The Arab League, they didn't say, I didn't, probably they said something, but I didn't hear that. In April next year, so in about three, four months, four, five months, we will have a conference here in London. And um, we will certainly want to have people from your church, from the mosque, from other churches, to come to that. Um, and we will, if, with your permission, we will extend invitations to you to come, either yourself or your, your colleagues, to come to that. Um, and the idea is to try to um, bring people together from different points of view and from different faiths, to try and discuss what can happen for the future of your country. It's not my, not my conference, but it's you know, it's being held here. It will happen in London on the 24th and 25th of April. Bear in mind, within four, four months, God will make something, solution from him. Well, I hope so, but if he doesn't... But they are, <laughs> most of them, they are British subjects, but don't forget, within four months, God will make it. God can make a change within 24 hours. But bear in mind, that God will make that change. But where is that? I don't know. But He will make some change. I'm sure you're right. But uh, if we if we have a conference like that, would would you would you no, the be happy that we bring people the together? The I told you have. I don't go with word if. I said realistic. God will make something within four months. What it is, I don't know, but you bear in mind. But the conference, whether it happens or not, will come to, to attend. Because after the, the solution happened, we need also to take care for the wounded, for some. But God will do that. God can make a change with, within 24 hours. 
true. I mean, he passes the sea for That's what we, we pray. Moses. When we pray, the Lord pray, God will do that. Is there anything else uh, you would particularly like to say? Well, to say she's a brother and says in Libya. In Libya, people are suffering, whether Eritrean or, or non-Eritrean. My concern is for every human being. When I pray, in front of the bread, I said, God, thank you for the given for us. I ask you for to give for those who are in our, uh, brother of our brother in human, give them those who are suffering. You big nation, you have responsibility. If I'm a, I want to be detested, or go slow. If I'm a weak, he said to me, no, don't worry, we are pushing, we are helping you. The big nation, we are expecting from you blankets we need, medicine we need, bread we need. I went to other countries some years ago. He started to insult one nation. I don't want to tell the country. I, I told him, did he finish? Yes. Then, if it happened, earthquake, hunger, who send bread, blanket, medicine? He said, America. Why your country? Why your country? Even if it happened in your country, America and send. But America, like an elephant, they don't care what the auntie is saying. They are just like the British used to say, oh, well, the camel is going, the people is... When the British flag was everywhere. But for us, you see, we are expecting from you. First of all, I, ask, I thank you for you to pass my word last time and I appeal my word to the other also. God bless you and God bless this nation. Tremen. Always, and then God, God, and long live with all of her family, Her Majesty. Thank you very much. I have never met her, but does matter. I have to pray for her. Because St. Paul said to Timothy to pray for every, even for a poor, I mean rich people, to remain rich. Okay. So may God bless you. Thank you. And I appreciate what he said last time. As the German said, oh it doesn't. May I just take a photograph of you?